In this video, I will show you a simple way how to use luminance selections to darken the bright areas of your photo and to brighten the dark areas of your photo, but without losing contrast in your photo, as that's the biggest issue one can uh, come upon when doing brightening and darkening of just parts of the photo. I will not go too much into creating luminance selection as you can find a lot of about this in different videos and sites. I will just show you how to get the two basic ones, one for the bright areas and one for the dark areas. So for the bright areas, first one needs to have the channels open. If you don't have the channels window open, just go under window channels. You will see we need to work with the RGB channel and we have the layer selected with the photo. In my case, I have only one layer. So to get the selection for the bright parts of the photo, I will hold the control and click on the RGB channel. As you see, I clicked and I have a matching ends around the bright parts of the photo. I can save the selection into a new alpha channel if I click down here, save selection to channel, it's the square with the black circle in the middle. And we have a new alpha channel here, which is just this selection. So what's white in this channel is selected, what's dark isn't. So we already have the selection for the bytes. Now for the darks. There is a quick way and there is also the correct way. So let's look at the correct way. I can create a new invert layer. So what this does, it completely inverts the photo. And from this, I can do the same thing I did before to create the brights. So I control click on the RGB and save the selection as a new layer. Now I can deselect and I can remove the invert layer because I don't need it anymore. And we have our dark selection. As you can see, everything that was bright in the photo is not selected, so it's black. Everything that was dark in the photo is now selected, so it's white. So this was our bright selection. This is our dark selection. So let's how to work with it. First, I will select the bright, so control click on this alpha channel which is for the bright selection, and I will create myself a new curves layer. Okay, again, if you see something like this, it means that this channel is visible and it shouldn't be visible. Okay, and now I have a new curves layer with the selection as the mask. And now to darken, since this is the bright selection to darken it, I just change the blending mode to multiply. As you can see, everything that was bright got much darker now. Now, if I still want to affect this a little more, I can go into the curve. So I just double click on this and I can either brighten it or add a little bit of contrast to it. With whites, it's not so important to change the curve. With darks, you will see it's more important. So let's look at the brightening of the dark parts. Again, I will select the selection we created before for the dark areas and create a new curves layer with that selection. As you see, it has been added to the mask for that layer. Now this layer, I will not choose multiply, but I will choose screen. As you can see, the whole photo became really much brighter, but I also lost a lot of contrast from the photo. So that's where I can uh, affect this with the curves layer. So what I will do, I will take the curves layer and I will add contrast just to this effect. So as you can see, everything, every dark area got much brighter, but I haven't lost the contrast of the photo as I would without applying this curve right at the same time as I applied the brightening. So like this, you can create much more specific selections and just a combination of the blending mode and a curve. You can brighten and darken parts of your photo without losing the overall contrast.
that's all for this video and hopefully i see you by the next one